What's up YouTubers? So today we are going to unbox the Fuelit bucketless fuel pump. So right here we have the box. Um, it was shipped by the United Postal Service from Mesa, Arizona. I believe that's where their headquarters is. So we got this little tool here. I'm just gonna go ahead and open the box. Okay, get it open. They have like their own special packaging tape that says fuel it on it. got the box open <clears throat> there's a little paper it says fuel it fueling your power addiction basically this is the invoice okay we'll take that out we have a little decal here JB4 more horsepower and on the back it says performance tuners and then we have a little decal that says fuel it. It has a silhouette of a BMW. And then we have their business card. It has the Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook information. And on your next order, you can get a 10% discount. So there's a bunch of peanuts in here. I'm gonna try not to make a mess. You could just kind of get it out of there. It's much smaller than anticipated, so it came in this little package like this. Let's get the box out of the way. Let's make sure there's nothing else in here. Oh, there's something else. Oh, I did go ahead and order the tool to remove that little locking ring. That's what this is. Anything else in the box? So, all right, pack this up. Okay guys, so this is the, this is it. So basically, you have a fuel pump there, and um, you have some hardware. Yeah, I probably should have used the scissors, right? Just gonna make a nice little slit in the bottom. So, I went with the bucketless option because I'm trying to be somewhere in the neighborhood of 600 wheel horsepower. And from doing some research online, um, you gotta do a couple of supporting mods so that way you could run that horsepower efficiently. So here we are with the pump. As you guys can see it, it has fuel it on it. Um, it has this billet clamp that's attached to it. On the bottom, looks just like a regular pump, but it's very, very large compared to most pumps I've dealt with in the past. And I believe this is where the filter goes. And then on top here, we have a two pin connector, positive and ground. And also we have a little neck. I believe this is the output of the pump. And then the back of it, you can see, so it's pretty, it's pretty small. So we're just gonna go ahead and open up this portion of the package, see what's inside of here. So we got a nice little baggie.
Come on. So inside the baggie, you have some more baggies. This one says large vent clip. And you guys can see, this is for the, the vent hose that attaches to the fuel pump assembly. Um, they supply this because sometimes they break when you try to remove them. Then we have the fuel sock, which is a pre-filter. And then we have here two cotter pins and two washers. And what else we got? Yeah, that's basically it. So fuel sock, two cotter pins, two washers, and a fuel clip. And this is the tool to help getting that locking ring off. Some people could just use a hammer and a flathead, but I say, hey, why not? I'm a mechanic, it's best to have better tools that do the job easily. Okay, I got some more items here for you guys. Um, I wanted to take this video and go into detail a little bit more about supporting mods. Some people might get into this whole 335 upgrade thing and think that you just slap on the turbos and a tune and everything is good. Well, for reasonable horsepower numbers, you could do that for the most part. But once you want to go above a certain level, you're going to need a certain, um, basically a certain amount of mods or supporting mods to help you achieve and maintain that goal reliably. So, um, after reading the forms, I decided to go with these NGK spark plugs. They're supposed to be two steps colder than what originally comes in the N54. That will help your tuner or basically for your tuning to do ignition timing and all this great stuff like that. So these are the Laser Iridium uh, Premium. As far as the part number, it's going to be 97506. This camera will focus. Well, it won't focus, but 97506. We got six of them right here. And, um, also, I managed to get this. This is a Continental part, which is usually an OEM manufacturer because it says VDO on it. Um, this is a four bar map sensor so the map sensor um, measures the pressure the air pressure so by this being a four bar you can actually the computer can monitor higher pressures I believe the stock map is 2.5 bar if somebody knows the exact number drop a comment below so we can help each other so this is what the part looks like it actually says 3.5 on it. I thought it was a 4 bar. I think there is a 4 bar option. And I went with the 3.5 because I don't plan on going over 600, 650. And then for you to use this sensor, because I believe it's on a newer model BMW that sensor comes on, you need an adapter harness. So I also got this from Burger Motorsports. Basically, it converts your wire harness to the correct plug to use this map sensor. Alright, so now that we have our fuel pump, we have our map sensor and our colder plugs, the tuning side of things, um, I'm going to be using MHD Flasher that's an app on your smartphone for right now I think it's only available on Android platforms so what this means is you can use it on any Android phone any Android tablet or something of that nature um, MHD flasher if you go into my phone here let's see I got it somewhere on my home screen this is what it looks like so basically they have uh, flash a map, flash a back end map, custom map, stock map operations, and the license store. You have to go and purchase and unlock certain features of the app 
that you want to use so that's a good thing because you might not need to use everything so you can buy what you want to use so also um, I believe this system can work with JB4 in conjunction so basically you would use a back-end map if you're using JB4 but if you go into um, let's see flash a map they have this current maps uh, beta v8 maps and former maps v6 v5 so I'm just gonna hit current maps and then once you go into it you guys can see the different options here so basically they have stage 1 stage 1 plus stage 2 stage 2 plus and e85 mix so and then they go into separations based on what octane fuel you're running so um, for my current setup, it's going to be MMP Stage 3 Turbos, the relocation kit. Um, it's going to be a, a VRSF charge pipe with a tile blowout valve, um, 3.5 bar map sensor, um, two step colder plugs. It's going to be a Wagner intercooler and MHD flasher. And I did some other things that's probably not necessary but I wanted to ensure the longevity of this build um, I went with a CSF full core aluminum radiator and um, I swapped out some of the clamps for these T clamps because they're a lot stronger and a lot less likely to become loose and um, what else did I do the rest of the stuff is basically maintenance items like gaskets and seals and things like that but I did upgrade the PCV valve that's a crankcase valve that relieves pressure from the crankcase um, the only other thing that I think I'm gonna do as a supporting mod is probably install an oil catch can to capture any blow by okay the last thing um, that pretty much wraps up the unboxing and the supporting mods that I'm going to be doing um, there's one thing that I wanted to know though, so if there's anybody watching this video that um, has installed a relocation kit before, uh, drop a comment and let me know because um, I'm kind of confused about, there's like a vent hose behind the motor, I believe it works with the PVC system. I think they supplied a big hose. From what I understand, supposedly you're supposed to connect that rubber hose to it and just let it dump to atmosphere somewhere. If that's true, drop a comment below if you know exactly what to do with that part of the um, relocation kit. Let me know. And I'm out.